Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So um, I got in a tonic order today. This has the Designer's Choice 22 in it. Um, so if that interests you, um, we're going to take a peek here shortly. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I don't think it's going to be a very long video um, because uh, one of the items I ordered, um, I ordered two, and I had mentioned it uh, a couple of videos back. Um, this cardstock is wonderful cardstock from Tonic, and it is their their smooth cardstock. Um, and it's called Smooth Card, and it comes in three colors. It comes in bright white, ivory white, and jet black. And um, it is 300 GSM, so it's a heavyweight cardstock. It is good for um, card bases. Um, I use it for sturdy stuff. So, anywho, um, so I ordered two of those bundles, and they were $15.56 each, and it came with six packs, so two of each. So here's the bright white. It is an A4, so it's bigger than our, you know, standard uh, eight and a half by eleven here in the U.S. Um, so I got a total of four of these because remember I got two bundles. So there's the bright white, oh, the ivory white, and the jet black. And again, these are smooth they're very smooth there's no texture to them um, they're good for embossing on um, but um, I, I reserve these for special projects I don't necessarily use them on my on all my cards because I order um, cardstock in bulk uh, for my card bases if I don't order card bases in bulk so anywho so I got two of those and these were um, fifteen fifty six each, and the, um, the total order, including shipping, was seventy one fourteen. So I got six ninety off, which almost covered shipping. Because of the designer's choice, there's no you don't have a choice. Shipping is eight ninety five, um, which I think is kind of funny, considering you know I can order a a box load of cardstock that weighs so much more. And only pay the standard uh, six, I think it's six dollars shipping. I can't remember. They have a flat rate shipping, but for some reason, with the designer's choice, it's eight ninety five. Don't know why, but it is. Anywho, so I got two of those. Then um, I got a, another a glacier paste bundle. Um, some of the I have all of these, but uh, because the holidays are coming up. I know this is going to get used a lot because I want to do some card making with my sister and my niece. So this bundle was $17.98. And there's only four in there, but um, it is ice, uh, pink icing, uh, mambo melon. Now, honestly, at Christmas time, they should have come up with uh like a tr they should have put a true red in there not this pink th not this bright pink then we have the green envy and the uh golden era um these three i will definitely be using on christmas cards and projects this one not so much uh to me i look at this and i think of watermelons i mean it is called mambo melon but uh Anywho, um, yeah, so there are those. I told you guys, this is going to be a short one because uh, this is the last item. This is the Designer's Choice number 22. This is the Serendipitous Sepal gift box die set. And these make cute little die, uh, box, um, uh, boxes that are shaped, they look like flowers. And there's a couple of ways that you can do them. So you've got, there, there's two patterns. You've got, uh, you know, we'll use this. So you have this one here. 
that resembles a tulip. And then this one here, I'm not quite sure what you want to call that one, but it's, uh, anywho. And you would have thought it would have included a, um, a picture, but it doesn't. I'm going to see if I can't pull this up on the website and, um, maneuver the camera for you guys to see. Um, because I believe it is still available on the Tonic website. And of course, I will also include uh, a link to um, both Tonic Studios and to, and most of y'all know my favorite um, channel, um, Crafty Potential. She is one of the designers for Tonic. And I'll include a link to both of those so you can see this one. So, so yeah, there's two different boxes that you can make. Um, this one, you know, kind of looks like a tulip that's opened up, but I've never seen one opened up that wide. And then you've got this one here that does look like a tulip. And so now I'm going to, um, and it comes with three tags. One of them says, um, to a new beginning and on a special day and... This one's covered up by the designer's choice. And then it, this is just uh, like a decorative tag. So you can put whatever you want on the back of it if you choose. And then you have another tag here. Um, so your choice, how you want to decorate them. But this is pretty much the end of the video. I'm going to rotate the camera so that you guys can see the... Um... <sighs> Come on. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So there it is. Um, it is $19.99, which is a pretty good price. It is still available um, on their website. And here are some of the samples that they've got. So I, I could move it, but I don't want to mess with it too much. So I really like that one. I think that's really cute how they took... I don't know if you noticed this, they took this die right here and cut part of it off and made it look like butterfly wings. That is wicked smart. Really, That's really adorable. And I'm not a butterfly person, but that's cute. Um, then they, you know, they cut it again. So some, sometimes you got to do some of your own fussy cutting to change things up a bit. To me, I look at that and I think gingerbread. I don't know why, but I think gingerbread and candy canes with that color combination. That one's okay. That is cute if you're going to do like little favor, like uh, little favor boxes for a wedding. Now, it's not going to be very big either. So, the color combination, combination on that is stunning. I want to go back to that one. So, if you actually look at this cardstock back here. It looks like they more than likely rubbed it with glacier paste because the um, it's a textured cardstock there and it has uh, it, it sh it's shimmering so it looks like they probably took one of these and rubbed it into the cardstock so great idea that's adorable I don't when I'm looking at that one um, I don't know if kids still do this but Remember when we were little and we go get the buttercups and shine them up underneath our chins? I look at that one and that's what I think of. Another pretty one that you could do with like a wedding favor. That's adorable. So you're not even using it to make the box. You are using it to make an adorable card. Another cute one. They took one of the tags and then they cut their own um, stems and leaves. Great, great um, thinking outside of the box. They cut one and made stencils out of it. Stenciled the back and then popped it up for dimension. Great, great use. Again, thinking outside of the box and changing things up. That one looks kind of gothic to me. And that's something I think you'd do for Halloween right there. That's, you know, okay. They really went outside the box with that one. Uh, so, 
it looks like they took stencils, they stenciled the back, they used the pieces that they stenciled, and then they also cut out and then used, looks like a paste or like an embellishment mousse that might be on these top pieces. Um, it's hard to show you in the video, but I think if you go to their website, click this and go through their samples, you're going to see the cute, oh, that one there, they used acetate so that you could see inside. Great idea. It looks like a bumblebee. I don't quite get the color combo. I can't tell if that's like a really deep, deep purple or like a wine red. I can't tell. And there they are back to the beginning. So, um, you know, sometimes you just got to look at these and say, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. But then think outside the box and think of other ways that you can use it. So many great ideas in these samples and um, quite a few that I wouldn't have thought of. But uh, any hoo-ha, that is it. Let me put y'all back. Try to put y'all back. Um, oh, shoot. I went way too far. There we go. Um, I usually keep my boom locked in place. And so then when I'm done, I just swing the boom out of the way. Um, anyway, um, that's it. And of course, as always, um, if you're lucky, you can catch, they've got their binders. There's one that says designer's choice. So keep all your, um, pages in there. I do basically transfer all of mine onto a magnetic sheet, um, before they go into the binder. But that's me. I, I I don't like keeping magnets on these sticky foams because sometimes you're pulling hard. You can bend them, and I've done it. So all my dyes always get stored on magnetic sheets. Um, but th that's just me, my personal preference. Uh, so anywho, any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down, down below. Um, and don't forget, I'm going to put the link to the tonic and to Crafty Potential a YouTube channel for this uh, designer's choice to, you know, see different samples that they're going to show on the tonic page. And then a, um, on crafty potential, she always does like a walkthrough of the project she makes. So, and then you can spot it on the tonic, uh, website on uh video. So with that, love you guys to pieces. Hope you have a fantastic week. Um, I don't think I'll be posting on Thursday. Thursday, I'm getting, and I, I've mentioned this before, I'm getting my MRI on my knee. And I won't be getting home till late, which is going to make Friday really rough for me. Um, my MRI appointment is at 6 o'clock at night. And um, I'm usually in bed between 6.30 and 7. So <laughs> I'm going to be a pretty pooped come Friday. Anywho, um, y'all have a great night. As always, love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.